a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about lithium ETFs. And we know that uh, the EV space is very hot, electric vehicle space is very hot, and that's particularly in view of President Biden's climate ag agenda, uh, the bipartisan infrastructure bill, as well as the Build Back Better framework. They provide a lot of support uh, to electric vehicles. And another way to pay, play this trend is by investing in lithium producers. And lithium prices have both than doubled uh, this year. So let's take a look at what lithium is and how investors can play this trend. So, so lithium is actually the world's lightest metal. And this is silvery white in color. And this Lithium America's website has some cool uh, videos and uh, pictures of how lithium is produced. Uh, so this metal is uh, has very high energy density, and that is why this is one of the hottest commodities in the world. And because of its high density energy storage, uh, it actually has doubled the energy density capacity uh, compared to any other closest alternative. And because of that, it is used in rechargeable batteries, which are used in everything from electric cars, smartphones, laptops, and other electronic devices. And unlike some other popular metals, lithium does not have an active futures market. So you cannot bet on lithium uh, prices using futures. So the only way to invest is uh, through investing in uh, uh, lithium producers. And uh, that is why lithium producers have seen a surge in the prices um, this year. And this company that I mentioned, uh, Lithium Americas, they have not produced any lithium yet, but their share prices have more than doubled. Now, uh, there is no shortage of uh, lithium in the world, actually, in Earth, but extraction and then its conversion to uh, battery for use in batteries is quite expensive. Uh, so that is why lithium prices have surged. And um, as I mentioned earlier, they are up about 240% year to date, and that is according to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. And we know there is rising demand from EV makers like Tesla. And then lithium had a bear market. The prices had plunged in 2019. And so after that bear market, the investments in mining went down. And um, uh, that is one of the reasons for the surge in prices or, or for decline in supply this year. And also a lot of lithium, lithium processing is done in China and supply chain disruptions have impacted the supply. And there is the, there are environmental concerns uh, uh, related to permits of new mines that is uh, resulting in low supply. Too. Now, there are two ETFs uh, that you could use uh, to play this trend. The first one I'm talking about is by Global X, Global X Lithium and Battery Battery Tech ETF. Ticker symbol is LIT. Uh, it uh, is pretty popular with uh, 5.9 billion in assets and has an expense ratio of 75 base. Uh, 75 basis points attracts a market cap weighted index of lithium miners and battery producers. Now, to learn more about this ETF, you can go to the code page on sax.com. You can read our articles uh, report on this ETF, and using this link, you can go to the web page the GlobalX web page for the ETF. Uh, GlobalX uh, is a leader in thematic uh, ETF investing, and they have some very good research on their website. So if you want to learn more, you can read their research, and then you can look at this ETF. And uh, this has a lot of 
uh, international exposure, which is uh, understood because a lot of lith lithium mining and extraction and processing is done outside the US. So China has the highest allocation than US, South Korea, Japan, uh, materials, uh, IT, industrials, and consumer sector, discretionary sectors get the top exposure. And you will see um, these top holdings, and a lot of them are international companies. This one is US, but uh, these are rather small companies. We don't know much about them, but you also see Tesla and Samsung over there. Uh, so basically, this invests in companies throughout the lithium cycle, which includes mining, refinement, battery production. And uh, we know Tesla has the gigafactory uh, for battery production. That is why Tesla is also included in the ETF. Now, the second ETF I'm ta talking about is a broader ETF. It holds uh, lithium and other advanced battery material companies. This is also market cap weighted. Uh, that is the ticker symbol is BAT, B-A-T-T. It is by Amplify. It is slightly cheaper, 59 basis points in expense ratio and much smaller compared to led to 49 million in assets. Again, to learn more, you can go to the code page on zax.com. And using the link, you can go to Amplify web page for the ETF. This holds companies which develop, produce, use lithium battery technology, including storage solutions, metals and mining, and EVs. And again, like LIT, this also has a lot of international exposure, China about 30%, then US, Australia, South Korea, and Japan. And uh, you will see Tesla here too, Tesla as well as Samsung, you see Lucid too, which is, um, you know, which is one of the recent uh, IPOs, uh, which went public through a SPAC and I talked about it in a recent video. Now, um, on the last slide, I have the competitive performance uh, over the past year over th of these two ETFs versus the S&P 500 index. So LIT is up about uh, more than 60% this year. And the uh, other one, uh, BAT, that has delivered a performance which is quite similar to the S&P 500 index. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And also make sure to subscribe to our videos, our video channels, so that you do not miss anything. And I will see you next week.